This is the K-Texas News Update. Good Thursday morning. Leading our news today, a Cisco man has died from his injuries in a tank battery accident. James Mays died yesterday morning at a Levick Hospital. Lightning struck that tank battery just before 7 Tuesday night at a United Energex facility at Spur 490 in the I-20 frontage road just east of Cisco. That strike tr triggered several other explosions. Mays was the only one killed. The community of Trent is reeling from a fire that destroyed the sanctuary of the town's Methodist church. Investigators still don't know what started that blaze about 3 yesterday morning. Firefighters did stop it from spreading to the worship hall and several adjacent classrooms. No one was injured. Work at Brownwood's three elementary schools as well as the middle school should be finished before kids return for the fall, but the high school is going to see renovations throughout next year. Brownwood ISD is adding $6 million to the $29 million bond to finish those construction projects. Now let's get a check of this morning's weather with Storm Team Meteorologist Chad Garneau. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, everybody. We have a beautiful spectacle outside, and that is the blue skies, but that's going to change quickly to gray cumulonimbus clouds. Those are the thunderstorms. We could get that, and that's going to form right around. You see the stationary boundary also interacting with this upper-level low-pressure system. That's why you get those chances of remote storms into the area. And if you don't see the storms, you have partly cloudy skies, high 90 degrees, and winds are going to be variable. That's even true for tonight, though. We'll switching to the south and north. We'll put it to the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mix of clouds and still isolated thunderstorms, 69 degrees for the overnight low. Seven-day forecast, we have 88 degrees for tomorrow, Friday, partly cloudy skies. And again, those thunderstorm chances even lasting toward Sunday and Father's Day. Yes, we have to put it in there in your forecast next week. We dry out, partly cloudy skies for Monday, maybe an isolated shower for Tuesday, and Wednesday and beyond looks even warmer. Temperatures possibly reaching the middle 90s by now. That is a look at your weather for this Thursday. Enjoy your afternoon, everybody.